when they say your diet should be a lifestyle. This is exactly what the heck they're talking about. What's happening, my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life Vlog, where I'll be taking you along with me throughout my day, sharing every meal that I eat, footage from my training. Today, we're gonna be blasting our arms and just my overall active lifestyle. I thought it'd be really cool to, as I'm going through sharing my day with you, to compare my fat loss diet to my muscle building diet. So I just came off a shredding phase. If you've been watching the previous Jacked After 40 Life vlogs, you would have saw the meals that I ate to get shredded during my mini cut. So now that I've shifted into maintenance and a gentle surplus, uh, we'll do a comparison, kind of a side-by-side -side comparison comparison of how exactly I ate during the, the cutting phase to get shredded after 40 and how I'm eating during this maintenance muscle building phase to get jacked after 40. The main difference is how much I'm consuming. During the mini cut, I was consuming 2,000 calories a day and now that I've shifted towards maintenance muscle building, I'm starting off by aiming for 2,600 to 2,700 calories. I'm going to hold that for a about a month or two, probably close to two months, really let my body adapt establish this new set point and then slowly start to bump it up from there. Ideally, I like to try to push it upwards closer to the 3,000 calories per day and see how my body responds to that. Um, so there we go. That's our, our starting point for right now. I'm going to take you through the day and we'll show the comparison how different my meals are consuming 2,600 to 2,700 calories compared to 2,000 calories per day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. You want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. More than anything, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback and experiences. We took a doggy. Good morning, Chiefy Doggy. Good morning. Are you ready to get up? You ready for breakfast? Morning coffee with my furry homie chief here. Got just a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I am absolutely loving that the days are getting lighter. Not spending much time in the morning in the dark anymore. And uh, that's going to change a little bit. We got daylight savings time this weekend. So it's either way, it's happening fast. I am looking forward to the warmer weather, longer days. At least we're getting a lot more sunshine, right? Chiefy, doggy, doggy, dog. Going to have one more cup of coffee after this and uh, then we'll get out for a walk. Chief? Do you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Let's go, let's go for a walk. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You hear the woodpecker? Chief and I just got in from our morning walk. It is absolutely gorgeous out there. It's brisk out and we're just barely above freezing, uh, but the sun is shining. The birds are singing. It was so great to hear those red winged blackbirds singing away. That is a sure sign that spring is on the way. Also making me a little bit nervous because uh, once they start nesting, they get in, they get very aggressive and in attack mode. So you'll be seeing that in the uh, the upcoming months here. I uh, also saw a few woodpeckers along the way too. Really cool hearing them hammering away on the uh, on the dead trees out there. Just if, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that makes me tick. It's why I love getting out for my morning walks. It's not about having to exercise. It's about wanting to get that kind of activity in there because it makes makes me in tune with what brings joy to my life. So right now, having my breakfast shake, this remains the same, exactly the same, whether I'm in fat loss mode, maintenance mode, or muscle building mode, I have the exact same shake each and every day, which is one cup of homemade kefir, one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk, an ass load of spinach, scoop of protein powder, and a banana absolutely charges me up for the day and uh, I can't go a day without it. And along with the shake, I have 4,000 IUs of vitamin D3, two grams of fish oil, and 300 milligrams of magnesium. 
Time for my second meal of the day. I am having four large eggs that were scrambled in a bit of cooking spray, a little bit of ground black pepper in here. On the side, I've got one cup of large flake oats, 140 grams of frozen berries, and a bit of cinnamon sprinkled in there. So the difference is that when I was in a mini cut, I was consuming either one third cup oats or two third cup oats. So now I'm at one full cup of oats. So carbon up here and, and that's what you'll notice the trend throughout the day is that most of my extra calories are coming from carbs, maybe a bit of fat as well. I'm basically keeping my protein the same, uh, maybe just slightly higher. So the eggs are 70 calories each, so I've added 70 calories to this. Uh, the large flake oats are 110 calories per third cup. So um, if I'm looking at a, a difference here, if I compare it to the, the times where I had one third of cup oats, I'm looking at a difference with this this meal of 290 calories. If I was having two third cup oats uh, because I knew my dinner was going to be a little bit smaller that night, I am looking at a difference of 180 calories for this meal between muscle building kind of maintenance mode and the mini cut. But to head into Starbucks, going to do some client programming, some video editing, and going to be grabbing a grande green tea latte. Looking at about 350 calories there. The difference between being in maintenance mode, muscle building mode, compared to being in a mini cut is is that when I was in a mini cut, if I came to Starbucks to do some work and grabbed a drink, I'd either have to get something that was a little bit lighter, um, typically a uh, blonde Americano Misto, which is only about 70 calories. And if I was to grab a green tea latte like this, I would have to cut back in other meals. I'd have to either reduce the size of some of my meals throughout the day or eliminate a meal altogether. Uh, and one thing I really wanted to touch on here is that uh, Maintenance level calories is, it's not a number. It's more of a range. You're looking at anywhere from 200 to 300 calorie range for maintenance. And reason being is that we're never exactly the same, we don't burn exactly the same amount of calories every single day. Uh, each workout we do is gonna burn some extra calories. Each day we may spend more time on our feet compared to other days. Uh, how long we sleep, again, how long we sit on our butts. Um, there is a range. We are, I mean, when we come to tracking calories, uh, estimating how many, how much we're burning through the day, it is just an estimation. It's just trying to make our best educated guess. So it's not like I set this target of 2,600 calories, that's my maintenance. If I consume 2,650 calories, I'm now in a 50 uh, calorie surplus. It doesn't work like that. And that's, that's a big reason why some people, especially when it comes to muscle building and they try to hover right around their maintenance, uh, like really, really close to that maintenance level calories, it can be tough to gain muscle because some days you are burning more and you may actually be in a slight deficit when you in, are actually thinking that you're at maintenance or, or a gentle surplus. So um, again, it's just, it's a range. We're trying to get in a ballpark here. And it's another reason why I will be trying to bump my calories up a bit uh, after a month or two at maintenance level here, just to ensure that I am indeed in a caloric surplus in order to build some muscle throughout the year, but it will be a nice, slow and steady process. Um, really looking forward to this, a really extended muscle building phase. Uh, really looking at, I mean, throughout the year, like definitely no more than four weeks of cutting through a year ever. If I could cut it down to two weeks, frick, even, even better. So, all right, I'm gonna head in there, do some video editing, client programming, and enjoy that green tea latte. It's right around 1 p.m. Just got to the gym, which is a little early for me. Typically, I train either at 3.30 or 6.30 p.m., uh, but I'm going to be bringing my daughter to work around 4 o'clock. So getting in a little bit earlier today, going to be blasting arms, suns out, guns out. Uh, one thing I want to mention, Lifesaver Mints. I have about four of these through the day, which comes to about 60 calories. Go dummy, go beast, oh no. I go beast. Go deep, I OG, oh no. Going up 
elevate Watch me demonstrate On time, never late I grind, celebrate No pump fake, hesitate I have been scoring every day Champagne Perrier Since 9-3, been in the box Now I'm stepping up to home Like straight out the sand lot Now I'm plotting on the globe I work hard, I show love That karma steady growing Got this far, I go hard Let God take control I was starving, skinny, now my weight up Got no energy for haters See you trying, see you later See you later. I'm shooting for the stars Need no laser beam Blowing like the greatest But it's one who's always greater Yo. Go dummy, go beast on em I go beast Go deep, I OD on em Apply pressure, put heat on em Put that five zero degrees on em Skin clear, this here my year. Yeah. Hey, look up here. up here, this here my tear. <laughs> Same fit four days. four days. I grind four ways. Four I play no games. no games, all me, no blame. On the wave, my own wave can't stop my shine. Can't stop my shine. In the lane, my own lane can't stop that my work. It can't was stop. an off the charts pump. I loved every second of it. I think I recorded most of the exercises. There was a couple I left out, and then I finished off with some extra work for my right arm. If you watch watch the last video I published where I got the uh, the body fat test uh, it revealed that my left arm is half an inch bigger than my right arm so during this muscle building phase I am working on building that up try to balance out my physique and uh, this workout plan is from the jacked after 40 club so if you want to follow the same workouts as myself as well as fellow like-minded men over 40 be sure to join the jacked after 40 club today right now gonna eat my post workout meal I have got Ooh, it's a little dark in here, not getting the, sorry, I shouldn't say it's a little dark in there, just bad lighting. I am having 260 grams of plain Greek yogurt, 140 grams of frozen berries, and two tablespoons of Nutella. The difference here is the two tablespoons of Nutella. I wasn't having that during the, the mini cut. Um, so now that I am in maintenance mode, muscle building mode, I'm able to add that extra 200 calories in there for flavor. I could add uh, like a scoop of protein powder in there if I want it to be a little bit, I guess, healthier you could say but shit nutella is tasty delicious i haven't had it in a little while so including it in here just adds it adds some creaminess to the the greek yogurt a lot of people don't enjoy plain greek yogurt i find when i add the berries there and a little bit of cinnamon it spices up the flavor a little bit makes it a little bit more enjoyable it still is one of my favorite movie meals even though it can seem to be a little bit bland and and boring to some people, but you add that two tablespoons of Nutella in there and oh my freaking God. So uh, I am definitely gonna be keeping in that in there. I do sometimes add um, almond butter instead. So almond butter is probably a little healthier option than the, the Nutella there. So uh, natural almond butter they got from the bulk barn, I'll include that same idea. Two tablespoons works out to be about the same calories as adding the two tablespoons of Nutella there. So that's a difference of 200 calories there. My previous meal, you were looking at a difference of either 180 calories or 190 calories. So those, the first meal was the same. Second two meals, I have bumped things up um, by at least, what are we looking at? 380 or 490 calories so far. Now typically that is my pre-workout meal, but because I hit the gym a little earlier today, it had to be my post-workout meal. Wash that down with four grams of creatine monohydrate, just in a little bit of warm water and a squirt of Mio in there. <laughs> it is a gorgeous day out here, brisk day. It's still in the 40s, but um, I feel that spring is in the air. I've got the... Uh, Chief is ready to play some fetch here. Got some salmon on the smoker. Looking forward to devouring that with some veggies and homemade fries. For now, playtime with my furry homie Chiefy Dog. Nope. Nope. He's gonna chill. <laughs> it's dinner time, and man, have I ever stoked to dive into this meal. I've got 
10 ounces of salmon here that I cooked on the smoker at 225 degrees for about 45 minutes. I just lightly coated it with some 100% maple syrup, probably not even quite a tablespoon on there. Um, I've got 250 grams of yellow flesh potatoes. I cooked that in, I just baked it in the oven for about 20 minutes. Um, between 20 and 25 minutes, I just lightly co coated the, uh, the baking sheet with some extra virgin olive oil diced up the yellow flesh potato and threw it on top of there. I've got 255 grams of this uh, mixed veggies here. There's some broccoli and cauliflower. Just topped it off with some ground black pepper. Now, the difference between this meal where I'm in maintenance kind of muscle building phase compared to when I was in a mini cut is that the potatoes, I would probably only have 150 grams instead of 250 grams. And I probably wouldn't coat it with, add any ketchup on top either. Um, I only have a little bit on here. Really these homemade fries when it's yellow flesh potatoes um, and you leave the skin on there I just I find these are delicious on your own you don't need any kind of topping at all but today I just decided to splurge a little bit and add a little bit of ketchup on top there so I am gonna dive into this uh, this salmon is looking like it is just nicely flaked I cooked it to an internal temperature of 165 degrees it's about quarter after seven time for chief and I to head out for our evening walk what do you think chief <gasps> Oh, are you tired? Do you want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk, Chief? What do you think? Go for a walk? Yeah, that's what I thought, GP Doc. <laughs> During my walk, I was thinking about how great it feels to come out of the fat loss phase feeling in control and responsible with my eating and not feeling like I have to have this huge cheat meal reward at the end of a fat loss phase. And I owe a lot of that to, to just allowing myself to enjoy my favorite treats throughout that mini cut and to end that mini cut with a reverse diet. It's just after eight o'clock, I'm still feeling full and satisfied from that dinner. So so I'm not gonna need to eat anything else. I'll be going to bed pretty soon. Uh, total calories for the day was just over 2,700. Took in about 331 grams of carbs, 73 grams of fat, and 184 grams of protein. Now, if you've been following my Jacked After 40 vlogs, especially during that mini cut there, you'll notice that how I ate today, even though it was 700 calories higher than what I was eating during that mini cut, it's exactly the same. The only thing that changed was the portion sizes. Now, when they say your diet should be a lifestyle, this is exactly what the heck they're talking about. All too often I see men over 40 trying to get shredded by following a bland, boring diet, eating foods that they would never think of eating, and then as soon as their diet ends, they lost all their weight, they go back to their old way of eating. It does not work like that. And oftentimes, that's why you end up yo-yo dieting. You drop the weight, you go back to your old eating habits because that diet, there's no way you you could sustain that diet, that kind of bland, boring, restrictive diet isn't something that you'd be able to continue with for the long term. So you go back to your old ways of eating, you put the weight back on, next thing you know you have to diet all over again, you go back to this restrictive, bland, boring approach and start that whole vicious cycle over and over again. This is a lifestyle approach when you take your natural eating tendencies, work with the foods that you would want to eat all year round. So after you get shredded after 40, what kind of foods do you want to eat then? Eat those same foods now during your diet. Work it into your calorie and macro targets. Uh, again, like with something like the, the green tea latte that I had today, when I was in a mini cut, I had to make some, some sacrifices to have that. I had to cut back from certain meals and sometimes eliminate a meal in order to enjoy that. You just, you work it in there. You can enjoy your favorite foods uh, and get shredded after 40. So a lifestyle approach, you're gonna be eating the same foods whether you're dieting, maintaining your weight, or building muscle. It's just about nine o'clock and Chiefy Dog and I are about to call it a day. I'm going to listen to a little meditation audio here called Relax Into Deep Sleep. One of my favorites, it's an app called Insight Timer. Just really helps me let go of all my thoughts that are going on in my head right now. Uh, anything, thoughts going on from today, thoughts about what needs to get done tomorrow. Uh, listening to this meditation just 
really helps me let it all go and focus on what matters most in this moment, which is getting a good quality night's sleep, which is key to live in this jacked after 40 lifestyle. It is the most important thing that you can do for yourself to make sleep your top priority. I hope you enjoyed sharing this day with me. I sure enjoyed sharing it with you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. Before you go, don't forget to drop a comment down below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback and experiences with me and before you go don't forget to download your free guide jacked after 40 hope you had yourself an absolutely amazing day i'll catch you in the next video